I like the way you related what happens in a good jazz band with what happens in a good democracy. I, I think that that's, uh, that's, that's what the Constitution is. Um, we have a, a collection of virtuosos who got together and they grapple with problems. The great contribution that the framers of our Constitution made was developing the form of our government. Three separate branches, the presidency, the legislative branch, and the judicial branch, giving each one some powers over the other two. And they worked through those problems by a delicate way of balancing individual rights, the rights of states, what is the central government's uh, role. And in, in music, we do that all the time. The drummer is like the president, it's the loudest instrument. Is that the president, That's the, the drum? President, the drums, the drums, okay. the president. What, what's the bass then? The That's bass pretty loud too. Judiciary. Oh, the judicial right, right. branch. There's a great bass player named Milt Hinton. Keeps him steady. That's right, he's called the judge. Oh, good, all he, right. He, he addresses the harmony and the rhythm. Oh, okay. And he's in the center of the rhythm section, so he's in a central location. He can understand everything that's going on, has an influence on the, the ground rhythm and on the harmony. But the piano and the rhythm section would be like the legislator. The piano represents all of the notes, all of the keys. But can play everything. And you have to listen to each other. I mean, that's the point. When, when one of you is playing a solo, the others play along, but they listen. One of the greatest lessons on the bandstand is just that you, you're forced to listen to everybody else. So it teaches you to be open in your hearing. Well, now if we can just get members of legislative branches <laughs> to pay a little more attention to the theory of jazz music, we'll all be better off, do you yeah, think? I'm with you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>